The Pico 4 is a pretty good device for playing virtual reality. However, did you know that you can also do a bunch of other things on the device as well? The Pico 4 runs Android, just like basically any other standalone headset out there, meaning that you can install any Android app that doesn't require Google Play services directly onto the Pico 4. So today I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite Android apps to sideload onto standalone headsets and exactly how you can get these onto your Pico 4, as this is much easier than it is on the Quest. So let's jump right in. First things first, there's no need for a computer. There's no need to enable developer mode and there's not even any need for a phone. All you have to do is turn your device on. I know, what's the point of even having a tutorial to begin with? Well, that's simply because the apps we'll be installing today you will not find inside the Pico store. So you will need to find and download an APK file. Let me show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so once you turn your Pico 4 on, this is what you're going to see, the main user interface. All you want to do from here is you want to find and access the browser. And from here, you want to access your favorite website for downloading APKs, which is going to be either something like APK Mirror or APK Pure. And as many have pointed out, you can actually download APK Pure as an APK directly onto your headset. So that is actually exactly what we are going to do today. We're going to download the APK Pure app, giving us basically an entire Android App Store directly there on our Pico 4, meaning we won't have to download individual APK files for installing any apps in the future. So here we go. I'm just going to install the APK Pure app directly onto my Pico 4. Of course, if you don't feel safe installing an additional browser onto your Pico 4, you can just go ahead and download individual APKs. All you would do to do that is go up to search here and search for any APK file that you might want to install on your Pico 4. However, we're just going to go ahead with this and we are going to click and open APK Pure and we are going to click allow, allow and allow. Now, there are a few things here that I will instantly say are worse than the Quest. Pico hasn't implemented as many resizing and multifunctional features as the Quest has. So for example, we can't actually go ahead and just resize the window like we would on the Quest, which is very unfortunate because it means we're basically going to be stuck with whichever size window this wants to give us. Wait, the Play Store is trending? Excuse me, what? Okay, so first thing we are going to search for here is just like we did on the Quest, we're going to get ourselves Steam link as that coupled with these pancake lenses i bet is going to look absolutely beautiful what steam link is going to allow you to do is it's actually going to allow you to play your steam games from your steam account on a cloud computer or your own computer inside your home directly there on your pico 4 on hopefully a rather large screen okay yeah no, that's pretty large is because we can't resize it so now that we've got the Steam link installed, I'm also going to get myself a bunch of other apps, like for example, Spotify and Discord. And now, just like we did on the Quest, we're also going to download a PlayStation 2 emulator, copy some of my PlayStation 2 games onto this and see how it does playing those. Once you have your apps installed, it's super easy to find them. They actually won't be hidden under any unknown sources tab, even though you do have the unknown tab there if you want it. All you need to do is click on the apps icon and all your apps are going to be shown right there, whether they're unknown or not. Now let's actually try them out and see how well they work on the Pico 4. I'm going to sign into everything and I will be right back to you. Okay, so I'm back now after signing into all of my accounts. And let me tell you something. I actually really liked a few other things they did inside their software. For example, allowing the installation of unknown apps without having to enable developer mode or first connect to a PC or anything like that. I think that should be supported right out of the box. But also, I really love the way I can switch between my apps so quickly. There's basically no waiting time. Also, playing music in the background works. If I play music in Spotify, I can launch Discord, I can launch Ether, and it will continue to play. And the same thing goes for virtual reality apps. I can open a standalone VR game on the Pico and continue playing music through Spotify in the background. It works. They made it supported. However, you can't actually open Spotify while playing the app in order to change the song. So you would need to change it on something like your phone, but it does continue playing, which I find really, really good. And also the fact that you can't open three apps at once, I imagine that's helping it out quite a bit. But now let's move on to seeing if we can connect a Bluetooth controller to 
the Pico. So jumping into the settings, going into Bluetooth and starting the Bluetooth pairing process on this controller, we should be able to connect it. I don't actually see why we wouldn't. So we're going to try connect to wireless controller and wait for it to turn blue. There we go. It's now blue. So now let's try turn on Steam Link and see whether we can play with said controller. Jumping into here, opening up Steam Link. Where is Steam Link? Uh, it's going to give you a warning that this is an unknown device. Pretty standard. But I can already tell you the controller is working. You can see right there it says PS5 controller. So if I click start playing, it should throw us into Steam bigger picture. So here we are. The latency is basically non-existent. Well, not to my eyes anyway. I will win. I will, Big Sad. I will try one final time. Maybe third time is lucky. I walked straight into that. So maybe I'm not the best at Cuphead, but as you can see, you can stream games directly from a gaming PC or a COD PC right here into your Pico 4 into a massive screen in front of you. So here we go. PlayStation 2 emulation running beautifully on the Pico 4. And yeah, it might actually be running better than it was running on the PlayStation 2 itself, which kind of ruins it, to be honest, because, you know, if the game was running bad, you want it to be running bad for the sake of nostalgia, right? Obviously, that's a joke. It is running beautifully. Like, I see no noticeable lag, and these pancake lenses are making the game look amazing. I know people wanted us to try out PPSSPP VR. You guys made me aware of that last video in the comments, and we will be checking that out, but I'm actually going to dedicate a video to retro VR in general, and we're going to throw it into that. I might say, honestly, I think it might be running better than it was on the Quest Pro, which is weird because that's supposed to have the plus CPU. The Quest Pro had a bit of lag here in the fight scene that's about to come up, so let's find out if the Pico 4 does as well. Nope, no lag. Now, mind you, the Quest Pro did only have the lag while I was recording, but I'm also recording on the Pico 4 right now and there is no lag. Meta, fix your recording feature. <laughs> no, <laughs> give it to me. I hate boxes. Actually, no, I really like boxes. I hate these boxes in particular. I found a safe point. It's over there. Now, I can't say the same thing for the Pico Force productivity as I could for, say, the Quest Pro. As you can't yet open three windows on the Pico 4 at the same time, which means that you can't be looking at Twitter over here, Discord over here, and Spotify over here. No, but what you can certainly do is download an app like AnyDesk per se, connect to your computer, and have a massive screen right there in front of you. The only problem with that is you again only have one display, meaning that you're not really getting much of a benefit from running it on your main display anyway, as any desk is going to take the resolution from your main display and throw it onto this. Only thing it really gives you is being able to move around, sit on your bed, or do something like that. But overall, what I can say about the Pico 4 is that they have made customizing the device a whole ton easier than Meta has. Not having to connect the device to a computer, not having to enable developer mode, is a massive upgrade for those that wish to install Android apps on their Pico 4. And you guys had some crazy things running on your quests. Like people had FTP servers, people were using their quests as NASes. You guys were using those devices to the max. And I want to hear the same thing about the Pico 4. For those of you that have it, what are you using your Pico 4 for? Now, we will also be trying out a bunch of other things in future videos. For example, playing the PlayStation 4 on our Quest and Pico 4. So make sure to stay tuned. Other than that, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. We did this with the Quest, so it's only fair we try it with the Pico 4. And if you guys like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of the community, check out the Discord and check out the Reddit down below. I wanna see you posting your spicy memes on there. And thank you so, so much to all the lovely Patreons. Those names are going off to my right right now. You guys are helping me out so much right now. So. Thank you so, so much. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.